who are you? Where you're from? I'm Morris Riley. I'm from Two Islands. Um, there's Two Islands. I'm from Melville at the top. I'm Pearling EP. Um, what I like about being Indigenous is um, sharing my culture to non Indigenous people. What's three things you like about yourself? What's three things you like about yourself? Uh, my personality, um, my skills, and looks. What do you hope to do next year? I hope to um, make it to the AFL. I think you draft it, or if not, go back home and help our Indigenous people. What team do you hope to be drafted into? Um, obviously, I'd love to go to Richmond, but yeah, see what happens. Do you have a second choice? Um, oh, well, I don't know. I said, and I really clean my game. So. And I don't know. I just, I don't really have a second choice. I'd say I'd, I'd love to go to Richmond and the clubs pick me up. I don't really mind. At least I'm in the AFL. What is the drafting process like? Um. Oh well, I'm father and son, so yeah, I could go to Richmond or Fremantle. Yeah. So yeah, but I have to sign before the draft, like just before the draft, on like which father and son I have to go to. So yeah. Yeah. And then what happens after that? Then they pick me up um, on whatever draft draft or round they want me, or if another club bid for me, like bid twenty, they have to go pick me bid uh, twenty, pick twenty or something, like that. pick me a lower. Okay. So yeah, and then, and then after that, straight into preseason, I think. Yeah, and then you just start training. Yeah, start training. Yeah. And stuff like that. Yeah. And what's the training process like? Oh yeah, I went training there last Christmas for two weeks at Richmond with all the players. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, a bit hard, but like that got me to where I am now. So. Yeah, it's hard but good. What's one thing in your life you're proud of achieving? What's your proud of achieving? Um, coming to boarding school. Would you are you gonna take a gap year or are you, what are you gonna do if you don't get into a team? Uh, well, if I can get into a team I'd probably study business or something, like stay down here still. I know that I said I'm going back home, but I might stay down here until like later on, like try and get my own, do a business course if I can or something like that so I can probably go back home and then run my own business on helping family or something like that if I can. What sort of business? Um, oh, I was going to do a tourism, like tourism kind of lo lodge kind of thing. A lodge back at, we have a lodge, but like I want to do a tourism around my community or like take people out hunting or show them around the country. And yeah, that'd be good. And how do you define manhood? Um, someone that knows their culture, respect the elders, and um, good role model for Aboriginal. You're people. reading too much. All right, all right. <laughs> all right. I'll say. All right. All right. Someone that. How do you define Aboriginal role model? Model or someone that knows their culture and lead by example. Do you see yourself as a role model for other people? people uh yeah i see myself as a role model to my younger siblings and my community i'd say how um to be like another indigenous guy a tv guy living in the community and a way knowing like showing them that i can be away from family and tell them that it's hard but like it's better opportunities down here i'd say and then show him that you can learn more from being away from him. Um, stereotype I'd like to break is um, that you don't have to be like skin color doesn't matter if you're indigenous. Yeah. So if you wrote your life story, what would you call it and why? Um, I'd 
call it probably away from home. Cool. Why? Because um, I spent most of my life, like, so most of my life away from home. Like, yeah. Um, if you're a superhero, what special power would you possess? Um, fly so I could fly back home and see family. Fly, I can. Yeah, get more places quicker. Okay, if you could be an animal or a totem, what would you be and why? Um, I'd say I'd be my totem, but it's a turtle. Because, um, just go see, go swim underwater and see, um, what humans haven't seen before. Yeah. What's one of your favourite hobbies? So what's one of your hobbies? Um, playing footy. Probably. What's Netflix? Anything in particular? Oh, not really. Just anything. Have you ever experienced racism? Um, in my past I probably would. Uh, yeah, I remember. Uh, no. Not really recently, but yeah, in the past I've dealt with racism. Yeah, what happened? Um, just being called names, I'd say. Um, just playing footy and then being called names or playing footy, I'd say. Yeah. When that happens, how does that make you feel? Oh, I just feel terrible. Just You don't feel good about yourself. Yeah. How... How do you change that? How can we change that for the future? Um, educate people. Um, I'd say, I don't know, we could make it a little So make it a big, bigger, that, yeah, I'd say, I don't know, something like um, making it you know, more common that, that you have to take racism serious because it could hurt someone or make someone better than someone. Is there any part of culture that you've kind of missed out on? I'd say I missed out a lot. Like, if I was back home, I would have learned a lot more about my culture than I've known. But, yeah, I'd say, yeah, I would have learned much more about my culture. Mm -hmm. When you have kids, what part of culture are you going to make sure that they actually learn or be part of? Um, yeah, for sure, definitely um, culture, TV culture, because I don't want it like disappearing. Like, I know it's a little bit now at school, and I can tell, but like, because I know my mum knows a lot more, so yeah, probably sit my mum down and educate my children if she can, if she's still around by then. Why is Scots College a great place for Indigenous students? Um, because uh, like Rob always help and like all the other Indigenous makes it feel like home. Like, yeah. Do you, at home, do you speak Tiwi? Um, yeah, a bit mixed, I'd say. English and Tiwi, around family and things. Yep. So, um, How do you say AJ is a cool guy in Tiwi? Oof, um, AJ, um, Bubani Dini. AJ is a Bubani Dini. Cool. What do you miss the most about home? Home. Um, spending time with family, um, going out hunting and fishing, camping. Yeah, just all that stuff, I'd say. Spending time with family and then yeah, going out hunting and fishing. What's one thing, what's one impact you'd like to have impact? Impact. Um, I'd like to see Indigenous people on commercial. Do you wish you could change the racism that, in, that exists in society? Um, yeah, definitely. I wish I could. Like, I wish it um, wouldn't exist. Like, wasn't like that, like how it used to be before, but I know it's settled down a bit, but there's still a bit out there. Did you find it difficult when you first came down? Um, yeah, I'd say settling in, I find it difficult, but yeah, I'd say the other indigenous boys made me feel welcome, like made it home for me, I'd say, make it, made it home for me, so yeah, it was a bit difficult, but yeah. What grade were you when you came down? I came down in year 10, 
and yeah, the lie, but yeah, that was a good day. What do you think has been some of the positives of you studying at Scots College? Um, oh, well, um, positives. Um, oh, I um, putting up the end of your flags. Um, that was good. That was a positive thing. Like, and it was pretty special, I'd say, because it was in our uh, last year, year 12. Yeah. And, um, I don't know. Um, probs. I'm not sure. Do you think it's a good idea to have kids from like the Tiwis or remote communities go to uh, schools like Scotch? Um, I'd say, yeah, they could learn more, at least. Um, yeah, I'd say it'd be a good idea. And then um, at least making the most of it when they get back home. Like learning more about their culture and like, yeah, just spending time with family and stuff. But I'd say it'd be a good idea for them to like come and get a better education down here and probably learn another language, get better with English, but obviously um, their language first, so yeah. Is it hard to be Morris Rioli Jr.? Any expectations that people have of you? Yeah, I'd say now and then it's like, sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's hard, like you can tell, but not tell, but if, yeah, if it was me, you'd no, but yeah, sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's really hard. Yeah. yeah. Do they make comparisons between you and your dad? Um, not really, I reckon. Well, some bits, some bits of games, but yeah, he's up there, not me. I'm down here. <laughs> but yeah, they say some bits, I'm a bit like my dad. Yeah, and then, yeah, he's... Him. What position do you enjoy playing the most? Oh, forward. I love playing forward because um, I love tackling forward pressure. That's my main thing, but yeah, I just love doing it. Again, kicking goals. Thinking back over your time at Scots College, what has been some of the biggest highlights for you? Um, um, I don't know, my memory's not that good. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, So meeting everyone. I don't know. I literally don't know. Um, probs looking back. Um, I'd say coming to Scotch. Yeah. Come to Scotch. I'd say, and yeah, that was a big thing for me. I'd say come to Scotch. And yeah, my first day at school, my mum was there. Like she was there and had a look around school, yeah, but yeah, I'd say come to Scotch was a big day for me. What's the difference between you now in 2020, about to finish year 12, compared to that kid that arrived down in year 10? So, oh, in year 10, I'm a bit shy, but now I'm say I'm a bit more confident with myself and like, yeah, a bit confident, I can I'd probably, I was... I wasn't good at public speaking, but I'd say I can do it now a bit better, even though I don't do it in class, but I reckon I can do it <laughs> now. <laughs> Not public speaking, but like the same thing, I'd say. Yeah. Uh, yeah, just, I'd say I'm more confident now than I was before. What makes a really good leader? Um, someone that people look up to, like, um, someone that's strong, um, that's dedicated, um, that's respected, I'd say. So what are some significant differences between Aboriginal culture and Tiwi culture? That we don't all speak the same language. That we, uh, um, well, different, like, well, we have different culture, different backgrounds in, in culture. Um, yeah, 
then we do like different kind of things differently. If you could change anything in Indigenous affairs, what would you want to change and why? Um, I would change um, that. What? The, oh, I would wish that everyone, like every Indigenous country that was here before everything else was still here. Like all the different cultures that was in Australia was still here, like still. Like everyone, every Indigenous person, they're still new about their culture and their language. How do you see racism in sport? Um, that, that actually is a big thing because it's in a professional sport in Australia and that uh, it's pretty bad and it shouldn't be allowed. Have you experienced racism yourself during sport? Yeah, I was playing footy back at home when I was young. Well, yeah, when I was young and being called names by other the opposition players. Do you feel that the racism's actually increased or decreased or it's still that same? So it decreased a little bit, I'd say. Like, there's non indigenous people that care a lot about Indigenous culture and want to stick around. What's one message you would want people to know about um, Aboriginal culture? Um, is that not all Indigenous people are black? Oh, look, I want to thank you for participating in the interviews in the last 18 months. And it's been an honour to talk to you and, a, and a, quite a privilege for you to share some of your experiences with me. So I just want to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, besides that, mate, I want to actually also just say too, it's been a, a privilege and honour working with you for the last couple of years. Good to know you. I'm hoping that when you have in the premiership, um, that somehow you're going to give me a little hand signal from the camera something like an A and a J. So, I know, yeah, 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 like that. Yeah. So I know that when you're picking up the cup, you make that little hand signal to me and I go, he's talking to me. I know, I know that guy. Okay, I'm going to let you go, mate. Pleasure to talk to you and we'll, we'll talk soon before you leave. Yeah. Cheers. Look up yourself. Cheers. Cheers, brothers. Bye. Uh, I really enjoyed um, participating in the metric project with AJ. Three, two, one. We are here to talk about um, Aboriginal culture and TV culture. Hi, I'm Maurice. Hi, I'm Morris. And I'm Fletcher. And. <laughs> are you guys talking about something? It's good, it's nice to know. Uh, <laughs> Three, two, one. Hi, I'm Maurice. I'm Morris. And I'm Fletcher. And he, we're here to talk about the indigenous culture and TV culture. Did you hear that? Last night I was watching a movie and then he was full on like, he, cause it was dark and then I could only see my screen and then I could see this white forehead coming <laughs> <laughs> and I could screen and this guy. <laughs> I'm just recording that. Today, when young Tiwi rather than their parents choose their partner, they do not choose one of them. They're rather from within the permit, permitted skin.